Welcome back to Unwrapped, where we're serving up the story on pie. Did you know pie's been around since the ancient Egyptians? It was the Romans who first published a recipe for a goat cheese and a honey pie. And the English claimed Queen Elizabeth I made the very first cherry pie. But right now, we're going to meet a man who's trying to bring meat pies to Manhattan. Most people really are taken aback by the fact that we're putting meat inside a, a pastry shell. And they're like, why would you come up with that idea? But it's not any kind of new inspiration. The meat pie has been feeding folks for centuries, just not here in America. In Australia and in New Zealand, a meat pie is more commonly encountered than pizza in New York. It's literally everywhere. The Australian New Zealand version is such that once heated, you can still pick the pie up and eat it out of your hand, making it truly convenient you know, food on the run. And in Brooklyn, at Down Under Bakery, or Dub Pies as it's known to locals, any rookie or regular can get one in a variety of styles. Dub plate number one, meat pies, mashed potato, mushy peas, and gravy. Dub plate number two, meat pie with a choice of salad. Dub plate number three, bowl of pea soup with a meat pie floating in it, a pie floater. A few years ago, New Zealander Gareth Hughes was looking for something fresh to introduce to the States when he swallowed the solution back home. I was you know, consuming probably you know, anywhere from two to four pies a day, and then all of a sudden, in the middle of a pie, I realized this is what I was looking for. At that point, he knew his portable pies would be perfect for New York's melting pot. New York has more expats from different parts of the world that do have pie cultures, and that's Britain, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and no one was making a pie for them. Uh, and it really was a hole in the market, and that's why you know, we introduced it. For his South Pacific style steak pie, Gareth starts with slices of top round and creates a gravy with onions and garlic. After some stirring, secret spices, flour, and beef stock all get added in, creating the pie filling. Then it's time to prepare the pie dough by squeezing it through a sheeter several times. This not only thins the pastry out, it makes it flaky and ready for filling. The standard dub pie is steak and onion with white cheddar cheese or mushroom added to the inside. Another popular pie known as shepherd's pie is topped with mashed potato. There's even a bacon and egg pie for breakfast. After the filling is in the pie, another layer of pastry seals the deal, and the top is popped on. Final step before the oven is what we call hieroglyphs. The small markings in the pie crust say which pie is which. And when they come out of the oven after 35 minutes, Gareth has made gourmet pies he can be proud of. It's a holistic thing. The pie itself has got to be you know, perfect in every way, and we're, we're pretty close to that. <laughs> 